Hello guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sucking thumbnails, oops, eye sucking thumbnails in Photoshop. But, even after watching the full tutorial, only 25% of you guys are going to make good thumbnails. Because, 75% of you guys watching haven't subscribed. So make sure to smash that subscribe button if you want to make good thumbnails or you will suck. So, let's get into the video. Step 1. Collecting. First of all, in PureRef, I collected and created the images I'm gonna use for my thumbnail. These images will help you have an idea of what you are going to create. Step 2. Creating. First of all, in a new canvas, I'm going to drop the background image I have collected. Now, I will add a 3D render of a PUBG character, so that we can fill up the space and also, it adds detail to the thumbnail. After placing the character, select the background image, and apply in black and white gradient map, as I do. Now, once again select the background image, and from the filter tab above, apply in motion blur effect as I do. After that, create a solid color layer, and select a dark color. Then, select that layer, and try changing different blending styles, and decide what looks the best. For better results, you have to play with the color and blending modes. Now, once again, select the background layer, and add a black and white gradient, as I do. This gradient will, add a faded dark tone, which will look good. With all these steps done, we have built the base of our thumbnail. Step 3. The text effects. As the spot, right to the character is free, I will add the texts there, using the text tool. After that, now select the text layer and double click them. A layer style tab will open. In that, apply gradient overlay and an inner shadow effect as I do. You can even slow the video if I am going too fast. Similarly, I applied the gradient overlay and inner shadow effect to all the other text layers. If you can't create this gradient, don't worry, I will give the Google Drive link. So make sure to check the description.
Finally, the text looks perfect. You can also make it elevated. You can do this by, selecting the text layer, and pressing Ctrl plus T, which enables transform, and after that, by clicking Ctrl, drag any corner of the text, to the desired angle you wish. This style could also be done, instead of keeping the text straight and normal. Moving on, step 4. Lighting and painting. Now for lighting, click on the plus button, at bottom right corner, which will create an empty layer. After this, select the brush tool and carefully change the brush settings as I do. Since our background is a dark purple, select a bright purple in the color palette. After selecting, click on the empty layer, you created, and create a dot of light, by just tapping your left mouse button once. After tapping, press Ctrl plus T to transform, and now pressing Shift, drag any one corner of the purple glow, as I do. Now, move that light to the left corner of the image, until it's visible slightly, and change the blending mode of that layer, to Linear Dodge. After that, duplicate that light layer, by pressing Ctrl plus J, and place it in the opposite direction as I do. Since, the light is reflecting, it will leave highlights and shadows on the things it hit. Here, it hits our 3D character, so we will paint those highlights and shadows to our character. Select the character layer, and add an solid color layer as I do. After that, change its blending mode to linear dodge. Then, click on the layer mask of that layer, and press Ctrl plus I, to invert the mask. Then select the brush tool, and choose soft round pressure opacity and flow brush. Then change the brush settings as I do, and follow up, how I paint over the character. Paint it very softly. You don't need to go hard on it. You can see, light leaks outside the character. To fix this, just right click on the layer, and select, create clipping mask. Boom. This will take the leaks off. Now, you can make the lights on the character, more bright, by duplicating the layer. Also right click, and select clipping mask for that layer too. After that, we can add shadows, by adding an exposure layer, and bringing down the exposure value to like, minus 3. Then select its layer mask and invert it. Now with the same brush and setting selected, start painting the sides, where the light doesn't reach as I do. Wow, it already started looking good. Moving on, step 5. Final touch. This step is purely your creativity. I like lightning and rain. So I'm going to add them, which gives some depth to the thumbnail. Since the lightning's color doesn't match, select that layer, and add an hue or saturation layer, and change the hue, until you get the background color.
Now, I added, some more stuffs, like the BGMI logo, to fill up the space left behind. Then I added a rain overlay. After adding it, change the blending mode to screen. Then finally, I added in black gradient fill and inverted the layer mask. Then using the brush, paint as I do, to create a dark vibe. After some couple more minutes of tweaking and experimenting, finally this is the result. Thanks for watching, if you find it useful, smash that subscribe button, as we are on a road to 5000 subs. Until then, it's your sand signing off.